kitchen garden yep. program. I saw that on the web. <laughs> yeah. um, and they've been creating this orchard, which they get in volunteers from like ANZ Bank, Optus, um, what were else they had? Conservation Victoria. And then the Bunnings community crew come out. Okay. And they've done some work here too, and parents. So this picture that we're going to see is all pretty much done by the students. So this is it here. So they've got like a herb and veggie patch there, the star garden. And then they've been slowly putting in the fruit trees. And this is like a little learning area where they sit. Okay, the and this is all done by the kids? Yeah, there's it? another gardener here who's... Um, I'm, I mean, I'm just really a hobby gardener. The other gardener is a horticulturist and she actually teaches them um, gardening for one hour every two weeks. They have a gardening class and they go over to the kitchen okay, over yeah. there and they cook for an hour and a half after they've gardened so okay. on the same day. So they'll within the group there'll be a harvesting group, there'll be a um, composting group, there'll be a bug catching group, there'll be a watering group, there's five groups. Um, so they do all that and then they bring their stuff over to the kitchen. So that only runs on Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, yeah. great. So right. mm -hmm. We'll head up to the garden. We're getting the um, rug, two and a half million brand new building behind this fence. So okay. just, these portables have just been moved so they can start building. Now this is one of the tanks here that they collect water from. Okay. And there's a bigger one up here. Are you the tank? So this portable's just been gone. Taken here. So now a building site. Now this is some um, when they have any fruit, yep. goes in here. So um, each day at the end of the day, the monitor would bring out any food, fruit scraps from recess. On Friday, we have that free fruit Friday where the prep one twos get a platter of fruit in their room. Okay. So very busy here on a Friday. Okay. So we'll go into the garden. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So you can see the com <coughs> compost heap. Yeah. Get through here. Sorry, I'll just get through. So this is the one they're tying. So on a Tuesday and a Wednesday they'd be moving it, moving it, and then when it's ready they'd be taking it out to the garden. So that's one of the jobs. Okay, um, correct. In here's the worm farm. This is a little nursery bit of it. Farms. Are they coming? Oh, they're not coming. So the worm, the worm juice comes out here, and then they put it into bottles like cordial, and have say that much in the bottom, and then fill it up with water. They go out and water their plants. So okay. They do seedlings from seeds, so they either buy the seeds or collect them. Usually collect them now because they've got the garden going. So there's seedlings of your group doing seedlings and then we do the cuttings from the garden for the garden bed. So we try and just do cuttings as well. And the kids are explained and taught as to why yes. they're doing this? Yes. And <laughs> yes. Right. Our other gardener does, does all that. So she'll go and generally talk for probably 20 minutes and okay. then they'll come and garden for 40 oh, okay. in their session. So no. when she's here on a Tuesday and a Wednesday, she would have two or three gardening classes each day. Right. No so, 
So they know where all the tools are, they pretty much can they get told what group they're doing this week, they off they go, they're pretty pretty good now. Um, so this is pretty much, they have a very wide variety of fruit and veg or vegetables mainly. And often I don't even know what they are. <laughs> but they all do. They learn, so... Alright. So they use things like the paper shredded from the office, in the compost. Um, they'll bring the worm juice out here and water the plants. They don't use any pesticides or chemicals, so they, um, they'll actually have a container and they'll collect the bugs. So they'll look under, under leaves, look for signs. They get taught to look for signs of holes in leaves, so things like that. They'll look, start looking for bugs underneath. So they're taught all that sort of stuff. Okay, no mm. problem. All right.